Cool, right. I think that counts as half past, so let's get started. Okay, welcome everybody to the No One Lives Forever 2 stream. Um, currently, according to the directory, the only No One Lives Forever 2 stream on Twitch TV. I don't know if that's something that should be celebrated or forewarned about, but I love No One Lives Forever 2, so yeah, that's what they said. Uh, in case you are new to the stream, I'm basically playing through the entirety of No One Lives Forever 2, which is this game. It's a sequel, obviously, to No One Lives Forever. It came out in 2002, and it's by Monolith, who later went on to make Fear and Condemned. Um, and it's their, I want to say their first major game, so to speak. Um, for, definitely in the first person shooter genre. Uh, and it's very good, it's very silly, and it's a bit of a James Bond pastiche. If you've joined us uh, from the last two parts, you may remember previously I wrestled very incredibly badly with a snowmobile in the previous part, uh, and then bravely tried to sneak into a snow-covered base in Siberia, which went, I say reasonably well, although everybody died, which is generally how most of my stealth missions tend to go. So we're going to continue from there, uh, because we was about halfway through that. So as you can see, we are still in Siberia. Um, dead bodies notwithstanding, we have a lot of dead people around. Why? What did he do? Zukov caught him with an American magazine. Pornography? Worse. Investment planning. I never would have figured Mikhail for a capitalist swine. He said he was using it for toilet paper because they've been out for three weeks and he didn't want to soil a patriotic literature. And Zukov still punished him. If you ask me, he just wanted the magazine. He couldn't confiscate it if he didn't punish Mikhail. Now that you mention it, Zukov is getting close to retirement. So, the cost. Close to retirement, what do you think I'm going to do now? Right, so if a security camera spots you, an alarm will send, bringing reinforcements. It'll take the camera a moment to focus and identify you, so lens and duck back out of sight the moment you hear the distinctive mechanical whine. Oh, cameras! They're remotely, so destroying them. <laughs> so you can't destroy them to raise an alarm, but you can use special disabling ammunition to renown them inoperative. So I can already say this is going to go very well, because my reputation for destroying security cameras without setting off the alarms is uh, non-existent. So, on we go. And, uh, as I've said before, the, one of the reasons I love No One Lives Forever... Oh. No, don't sound the alarm. You, you didn't hear anything. Oh, God. Yeah, it's all gone wrong already. This might be a new record for it all going wrong. Die, you decadent pig. It's a spy. I'm not decadent. I'm... I'm... I'm dressed in 60s fashion. I can. Look. Oh, God. Well, they're all coming from behind me. I... No, 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 it's all going wrong. This might be the fastest time from stealth to going wrong that we've had so far in the stream. I can't tell if an alarm's going off. Yeah, one of the reasons that I say that I do like this game is the fantastically funny dialogue and, and the jokes that are peppered throughout. So that one at the start about because uh, not pornography collection was one of those reasons. It's lovely little uh, dialogue touches like that. At least on the positive side, we have a lot of uh, ammo to get. <laughs> because, of course, I did the whole uh, killing of people. Yes, I could have gone stealth, but that's... Well, okay, it technically should be my style, but I'm no good at it. <laughs> as long as I don't get a game over for being noisy yet, I'm okay with that. I hope you will be too. <laughs> it's a spy! No, it's not. It's a it's a woman dressed as a spy. No, I I don't know. I'm a a, a 60s fashion model. What is that sound? That is an incredibly annoying sound, and I don't think it's the alarm. <laughs> oh well. Nobody saw me, right? <laughs> oh, no, don't want to be going. No, don't, apparently I don't want to be going this way. Okay. Should I yet though? Let's uh What's wrong? It seems to be an awfully early I'm time. Not out the paperwork. Give yourself oh, up. they found bodies. Right, they found bodies. Hey, you get up! So do I mm, You are a brave man. Should I continue on through the Where loading screen? You? Or should I what Search happened? and find out if there's anything left here? 
actually, what I will do is close this door in the hope that no one sees me uh, and check my stats. No, I don't have enough to upgrade. Right, don't have enough yet to um, do the thing thing, and by that I mean upgrade myself. I'm gonna go through the loading screen, let's see what happens. The inner yard. So clearly I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. I've got to infiltrate the main records building, place an explosive at the fuel depot in the motor pool and at the outer gate. Uh, remember the outer gate, but I haven't found an explosive yet to use. And I have a new objective, which is to place an explosive on the propane tank by the mess hall. So this is going to be, as ever, interesting. I should probably quick save. Remembering that quick save one. And there's a camera. <laughs> there is our first camera. So there's my utility launcher. Do I have camera? I do not have camera ammo. <laughs> so this is probably not going to go brilliantly. Do I take him out? Mm, let's... Ooh. Shut up, shut up. Run, 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 run. You can't see what isn't there. Okay, so if I... Oh, red. Don't make me that might be down. an arm. <laughs> so that went well. In the fairness, you didn't have to hunt me down. I shot you before you did. Oh! I don't know why my hands kind of... spasmed out there. <laughs> No you won't. Stop running. Stop with your running. There you go. Now everybody's nice and stealth. I mean dead. Stealth? You know what? Dead is a kind of stealth. That's the uh, line I'm sticking to. Dead is a kind of stealth. Okay, right now. Spotlight! I think we all know what's going to happen if I accidentally step into that spotlight. So let's try not stepping into the spotlight for a change. Real quick save because, you know, PC gaming. And let's, ooh, let's see what's in here. This looks suspicious. Okay, that's not good. So someone's found the bodies, although I don't think there was anybody left back. Clearly there was. Oh shit. No, no, there, spotlight. <laughs> no, I refuse. There's no business like show business, there's no business I know. <laughs> oh god. This went very wrong very quickly. Can I, now, can I shoot out the spotlight? I can't even see to shoot it out. I'm gonna say not. Oh, yes I can. <laughs> hey! You to totally meant to do that. Honestly. Totally meant to do that. Oh! Where are you all coming from? Crazy folk. Oh god, what the heck? That sounded painful. I heard a shotgun. I still hear a shotgun. Oh god. Oh, he's got a sniper rifle. Okay. You didn't see anything, right? I have no idea if I'm hitting him. I can only assume yes, because he's stopped firing. Let's plant that bomb. Yay! Right, and I also have thousand skill points. Is that enough? Uh, no, I need two thousand for everything at the moment. So let's uh, softly, softly sneaky in here. Oh, another note. Let's see what this one says. The sugar will be kept under lock and key to prevent a repeat of last Saturday's generator sabotage. So apparently I can use sugar to sabotage generators. Let's not question the logic. No, 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 don't get up. 
That's how you know someone's found the mod and it's using it, as you can probably tell by this point. So, a bag of sugar, because why not, hey? Can I get the cleaver? No, I can't pick up the cleaver. Okay. So we know they're founding all the bodies. So, so it's probably not good for me to go outside right now. CCP soda. Let's carry on for now. Oh, I can get out the window. Now that's a good plan. That might be a better plan than uh, than my original one, which was just to go out and shoot him. Because those plans always work out well for me, don't they? Okay, we've got a room full of bottles. They're still looking for me. Oh, I'm full on ammo. Okay. Ooh, documents. I'm not gonna find anything. Oh, I did, but I didn't get a chance to read them. The hour of revolution draws near. I have made the necessary preparations, and in less than a week, we three shall have shrugged off the chains of tyranny and set an example for all Russians who hunger for liberations we do. From Oleg. So apparently there are three more letters like that to find, I'm assuming. And doing so will be my optional objective for this mission. Am I going to do it? We'll probably see. I wouldn't put too much money on it. <laughs> my ineptitude there. And me being conscious of that attitude, pretty much states that. Not that I'm not going to do it, but uh, I don't want to bore you all by trying and you watch me die several times. So if I can do it, I'll try, but no promises. And there is a grenade! I don't know who leaves a grenade in a chest. That is some very bad health and safety. If they have such procedures. Oh, right, okay, so there's a guard over there. Let's quick save, shall we? Do I shoot him? Yes. Oh, come on. I do have a chance because I just shot you. Oh, there's another one. Right, so I think they may, at this point, infinitely spawn until they stop looking for me. Because that is a lot of guards, considering. Oh, yeah, and the alarm's gone off. And that guy see me. Oh, come on. There's a lot of them now. Where are they all coming from? Well, I'm not making you hunt me down. You could just leave me alone. It's just a thought. I am such a bad shot, aren't I? And I'm, I'm kind of stating the obvious here. Ball of lint! I can use that for linting. I had something for this. Oh, who's shooting me now? Stop it! Yes, it did hurt. Now die, please. Thank you. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh! I'm trying to get ammo, and all your people doing are shooting me. Oh, don't know if I'm just. All right, I gotta say I don't know if I can, if it's just that I can't shoot through the gate, but clearly I can because I just did eventually. I was just still being a terrible, terrible shot. So <laughs> music slowed down, so you can clearly tell like, you've probably killed everybody at this point that you was going to originally stealth against. Here's the uh, obligatory video game toilets, everyone. Remember video game toilets .tumblr.com. That's uh, Andy Kelly's brilliant tumbler of uh, various video game toilets throughout the years. Oh, and let's see, there's more of them. What's that? Oh, bear trap. Okay. More documents. Someone's obviously found the bodies out there, so I'm assuming more people have uh, spawned. There's another one of those letters for the conspiracy. A first aid kit, that would be useful, although not to me right this second. I'm going to quick save and then break this lock here. You are a brave man. Just keep picking, just keep picking. I'm not filling out the paperwork. Give yourself up! Ammo, all phosphorus ammo. If you remember that, that sets on people on fire. And we like setting people on fire, don't we? We'll save that though for uh, if we need it. Intrude. No, I'm not an intruder, I'm a um I'm supposed to be here. 
I'm doing a survey on fashion of the 60s. My name's Kate Archer and no, you're not supposed to use your real name are you when you're a spy? This is why I'd be never any good in the field of espionage. Because one, I can't do stealth, and two, I blow my own cover. Can't carry any more tranquilizer, I'm checking that. I still haven't found any camera disabling ammo. Those the explosives, we need them. Oh, and there's some more documents. Uh, weather report, a cold front moving in on the north. <laughs> he wants to wait because he doesn't want to do it while it's cold. In fairness, running naked through the compound in the middle of a blizzard does sound more like insanity than insurgency. But I think running naked through anywhere sounds more like insanity than insurgency. But that's just my personal opinion, and that guy's running past the window. Uh, he's not alright, he's dead, and you will be too if you didn't run out the way you get. Okay. No, no. Well, I'm not making you hunt me down. You're doing it yourself. Don't think you get how this hunting thing works, do you? Oh, the alarm's going off again. I don't see... Like that... I saw that that guy spotted me, but I didn't see him get to an alarm. So how he set it off, I've no idea. Unless it's just the case that now I'm... <laughs> I'm so exposed, I guess like, yeah, we'll, get, we'll just turn the alarm on anyway. Because clearly there's somebody here. Look at all the dead bodies. Well, they're all disappearing when I go away, but look at all the dead bodies, honestly. Don't... Oh, God damn it! Don't look at all the dead bodies. They are just a distraction. There are no dead people here. I may be lying. Who, who can really say? Well, me, but, you know, I'm... Oh, right, there's a camera there. That would be probably why... I'm getting seen constantly because of the camera. Can I go underneath it now? So, <laughs> Crazy Ivan's electric fence. So I'm guessing that's probably not a good idea to touch that right now. However, there is a nice little board here. A little quick save. And a present for me you shouldn't have. Cat carrying more ammo for the body remover. I, I probably should have been using that more, shouldn't I? If I'd been using the body remover, we probably wouldn't be having this much issues with getting spotted because of dead bodies. Oh, shut up. Give myself up. No. You're nearly dead. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry about that. Had a hiccup fit starting there. Which wouldn't be good in the middle of a stream, would it? Really? Coughing or hiccuping a bit. What's in this dumpster? Anything worth having, or is it just a hide? I think it's just a hiding place for bodies. Let the bodies hit the dumpster floor. I don't know what I'm going with that one. Let the bodies hit the dumpster floor. There's a guy. Does he want my bullet? Oh yeah, he's seen me. Come on, I'm in the dark. Please, what? No, we say thank you. Thank you for the many bullets perforating my chest. We are grateful for your bullets. They are like little gifts. Intruder! Shot at incredibly high velocity into your organs. I know I can't use a first aid kit. I'm barely hurt. Okay, so I can't go through the fence because of electric. I can't go through this fence because of electric. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely can't go through the fence because of electric. That we we have definitely established that point. So where's it connected to? Let's follow these cables. Okay, so the cable just ends here, which is set to an alarm. I don't want to set up the alarm. Can I open this gate? No. Well, I think we've uh, reached the part of the stream where I get lost. <laughs> for about 10 minutes, so again, bear with me. Um, as I say, my excuse is, is that I haven't played this game in a long time. It came out in 2002 and was rather well received by critics. And I assume it did well in a commercial sense, given that you know the makers were, then were able to 
go on to make Fear and uh, Condemned and all those ones. Although, whether the success back then, because obviously the market was a very different place back then, would translate into success these days, I doubt it, but you there, stop. it's still a much-loved game. And I think it is a shame that they've uh, never continued with the series, so to speak, in terms of... Uh, oh, God, the alarm's going again. In terms of just... Um, well, you know, it's, it's a much-loved series, so going back to it could be a good move for Monolith, because, especially since what well, was the last thing they did was uh, Gotham City Imposters, which a free-to-play game was... Frankly, well, I say I don't know how well it did, but it definitely wasn't received as well as something like this would have been. Whether that means they should do a free to play Nolan's Forever, eh. I think they should do a proper good single player story game. Um, I mean, they don't really do Fear anymore because Fear was uh, Fear got handed to Day One Studios for for Fear Three, didn't it? Oh, that camera's seen me now. I thought after it had gone off twice it would have given up on seeing me. Apparently it seems to have a fetish. Okay, so I still have to... I've placed explosives. I still have to infiltrate the main records building. And there's still a guy... There's so many people around here. So I still can't open this gate yet. Oh god dang it, I can't even get close to it really. I'm not entirely sure what this was for. I want to say it's get up there, but I definitely can't do that. Hmm. If anyone knows what I'm supposed to be doing next in the chat, by the way, feel free to mention it. <laughs> because I'm a little bit lost. Unless I'm supposed to go back and do something else first, but my compass is definitely telling me to go through that fence. Which is currently impossible. Should I sound this alarm? Apparently I have. Face me, coward. Right, I nailed them off that I shall enjoy killing you! Ammo. Obviously, the uh, camera's now seen me. I'd like to get over that one, but yeah, definitely, definitely electrified. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I wonder if everyone's respawning because I'm supposed to dispose of the bodies and wait for someone to go through. Oh, however, this looks somewhat promising. I don't know how I get up there. Okay, can we get in from the other side of the building? Oh, okay, so... Okay, so that guy's seen me. No, don't sound the alarm. I might. I'm uh, certain. Oh, of course! I got the sugar, didn't I? I'm now out of uh, body armor. So let's go get that big body armor that we found before. So if I find the generator, in theory, one assumes that we get in the gates. But we need to find the generator to sabotage it. That camera probably doesn't help.
Hmm. This is a uh, curious. Okay, I get that there's a guy. Well, I'm not making you. We've established this twice. So this is a toilet place. Turn off all the lights to make sure people aren't going to see me. Are you all right? Sorry. I feel like I should get rid of these bodies. So let's do that. Ow, it bends. The alarm going off isn't great. Okay, let's go back because clearly there's something I'm missing here. I might have to go back to a previous area for the sugar thing. That is a possible point. Let's find out. See if there's a generator in here. If there's a generator in here, then we'll know. Well, I can't get in. Oh, I can pick the lock. So let's get that pick in that lock. Yes, you do give up. Thank you for giving up. <laughs> Thank you for giving up. That helps me. And a training manual. Aha! This looks promising. It's a lift. It's probably a guy down there, but screw it, let's go in here anyway. Quick save. Can't search that. Lights out. Let's pick the lock on this door. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. <laughs> okay, corridor. Corridor, corridor. Can you see the corridor? Okay, armor can't use. Because I'm so full on armor. Uh, apparently, there's a big. Okay, they heard that. But I don't see anybody yet. I think there's somebody close. I shall try and see this. There we go. Right. Oh, right, so, so I found the camera disabler ammunition. Bit late, but at least we have it now. <laughs> In theory, we'll use that to, uh, to disable the cameras later. And a requisition form, because you only need a re requisition form. I wonder if I disable the cameras then back near that electric fence and let me get through. But we'll find out very soon. Let's have a look. Yeah, apologies if it's a little bit laggy. Um, there shouldn't be anything else going on, but... I know it's not perfect set of circumstances. Also, I know my connection's a bit rubbish. But hopefully it's uh, still watchable. More than watchable. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything in here but a darkened room. Although this looks to me like a generator of some sort. I can't actually do anything with it though. So let's continue on. Oh, hello. You've made me mad. No, no I haven't. I've made you unmad because once. you are dead. Okay. Seem to be making progress, at least in terms of there is stuff here to find. Aha! Now this looks like a place, doesn't it? That looks like a generator to me. Be 
Before you even think about pouring sugar in this fuel tank, how did you know? Your little suit you can get the past the electric fence. Remind yourself what befell Sergei, uh, Sergei Putkin, whose conscientious lady friend Anya offered me a tearful confession to me the morning after he sabotaged the generator. So yes, the sugar is going in here, clearly. Whoopsie! Sabotage the generator, there goes your power. Now let's go back through the fence, shall we? But first, we will upgrade something. What shall we upgrade? Uh, I think... Weapons might be a good idea with our current tendency to shoot everything that moves. Hey, So let's go with the... Let's go with that, shall we? And on would we go! Oh, yeah, I gotta say, I know that's a bit of graphical lag on, on me now as well, which is a bit worrying to say the least, but hey, at least we're working, so we're all good. So now, if I can just remember where we're going, I think it's up, isn't it? Oh, excuse me, everybody. That's my uh, gut doing things again. So let's go back to the uh, inner yard, and hopefully this time, we're able to get through those fences. It's a spy. It's not a spy. It's a um, it's a it's a lady disguised as a You'll spy. Oh, that didn't, that didn't fly. Oh, of course, I forgot about the camera. So now we have the. No, the door's in the way. Oh, this is where we get the problem with old games. They don't recognise the doors in the way. So of course they don't count the door as being in the way. Right, let's switch to utility launcher. And we want the camera disabling ammo. And now, because I believe the light's gone off. Yep, blue, it means it's disabled. I remember that much. I had a I had a brain fart there where I couldn't remember what button it was to search people. More ammo, more ammo. I don't. If you if you like hold it until the search bar goes down. And um, if you hadn't noticed so far, then that's sometimes you get little extra things or whatever. But you can get ammo just by right clicking on them once. Right, we'll go in through the side gate because the big gate just screams like a bad idea to me. Not that everything I've done so far in this uh, in this stream hasn't been a bad idea, but. Oh god, camera, forgot about it. Forgot about the camera. Again. And there goes the alarm. Well. You know, the horse is bolted. Oh god, no. No, you haven't. You've got somebody who looks like me. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Bullets, bullets, bullets. No, you're dead. That's the bullet way of uh, stealth. There we go. Back to the AK. <laughs> I mean, really, did you think I was going to be that much stealth? I have a limit, you know. Yay! And now we get rewards. Okay, so definitely a quick save here, right? Now I believe I'm supposed to- ooh, sabotage that, hello. Now, do I shoot him? <laughs> do I shoot him or is that going to be bad? It's do I shoot him or do I tranquilise him really, that's that's the issue. Because I believe I have tranquilizer bullets, do I have tranquilizer? Oh, there's a person over there isn't there? So. Yeah, I have tranquilizer bullets. Go to sleep. Ah, it's time for a siesta. Yes, it is. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. I'm gonna sing you a lullaby. And if that lullaby don't work, then I'm gonna run and shoot you because that's just what I do. 
I could now take his sleeping body and put him somewhere. Also, he gives us to receive a bonus serving cabbage. So, if you remember from yesterday, uh, well, not yesterday, sorry, the last uh, stream, cabbage is a running theme on how much the anonymous henchmen do not like cabbage. They prefer a cabbageless diet. Right, so we left him napping. Let's move on. Now, I'm hoping this isn't going to game over me. Getting spotted, because. As I've said before, my stealth abilities are minimal. And more for Sphorus ammo, we can set more people on fire. That's always a good sign, right? Another quick save. We'll go around the back because, you know. Going around the front is asking for trouble. Ooh, okay. Loading transition, let's do it. Loading transition, let's do it. Okay. So we're in our objective. Now we've got to recover our information on Project Omega. As long as it isn't Project Jack, I'm okay with that. And that guy's sleeping over there, as you can see. So let's be quiet! Quietly, quietly... Have you seen Mikhail? He was filing documents down the hall. He's not there now. Maybe he's in the restroom. He already checked. Smoking a cigarette? I searched everywhere. He's just gone. He could have gone back to the barracks. In the middle of a shift? He's on duty for another 11 hours. How could he just vanish? Boris vanished last month. Boris went AWOL, he must have. Without taking his coat or his hat? This is the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. People don't just vanish without <laughs> a trace. Tell that to Mikhail. Tell that to a lot of people. Oh, satire. Uh, right. Nope. 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 Okay. Oh, there's a present here. Yay, camera disabler. I don't know if we're past the point of disabling cameras, but hey, I'll take it. Anything in these cupboards? I'm just a bit of a kleptomaniac when it comes to games. I apologise. I tend to take everything from every possible container. Right, okay, so. Now, there's that guy there. Do I want to distract him and kill him? Don't wanna hope he just stares sleeping like a baby. Let's decode it. Okay. He's still sleeping like a baby. This is good. Careful of the bottle. And there's a map. Don't close on me! Oh god damn it door. You are awful. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Nothing. No. No you're not. You can see him. You can't see me. No, I'm a spy. I'm a spy. <laughs> Does anyone have a paper bag with these guys' faces on it? That'd be helpful. Oh, there goes the alarm. <laughs> so we now have an alarm. Can't see me in the dark. I, that's the rule. If I can't see you, you can't see me. This is how stealth works, right? God damn it. <laughs> this is a telltale sound of me playing any stealth game. The alarms are going off and... Everybody's coming to kill me. Hey, you, get up! Sorry. Oh God, he was right outside the door as well. I thought it was around this corner. Because my uh, perception. For <laughs> a spy, I'm pretty noisy. I agree, Luna. Um, I'm the world's best spy. If by spying you mean nobody's technically around to tell them I was there, there is a lot of death. I mean, guys, guys, just 
tell me, if I'm a rubbish spy, did any of you guys see me? Anyone? Anyone? Nope, okay, see? Uh, I'm taking that as being a good spy. Nobody saw me. Nobody will admit it. <laughs> so much ammo, which I'm grateful for. More phosphorus ammo! It is like Christmas, only a bit more bloodier, far more death, and a lot less crying from me. The James Bond approach to stealth, yes. It's as long as, uh, oh, as, as long as they can't see me, then I can't. As long as I can't see them, they can't see me. That's, that's how I'm looking at it. A feasibility matrix. I have no idea what one of them is. I don't care. <laughs> right, onward. I can hear a camera. I don't see one. I can definitely hear one. And I would like some armour if it, we spot any. Because I'm noticing that I, there's some. But I'm quite low on it. There we go. You see, that's uh, not presumptuous. Serendipitous, that's the word I'm thinking of. I can definitely still hear that camera. I definitely can't see it. Oh, and somebody's found the bodies. There he is. I wasn't here. You didn't see it. Look, lights are off, so I can't be here. <laughs> I don't think I can hide in lockers solid snake style, although that would be <laughs> that would have been a good idea at the time. What's that? A computer vacuum tube. That's probably gonna be useful. In a uh, practical sense of something I need to carry on. There's another toilet everybody! This is your uh, toilet reminder. I probably shouldn't say that in the middle of a stream, should I? Because that'll make me want to go. Nobody wants to see that on a live stream. It gives a whole new meaning to the word live stream, I think. So we'll quickly move on. A laundry room. Why? Wait, wait. It's not the fact that it's a laundry room, but the fact that the laundry room is. Oh, there's the alarm. That's my bad. Uh, that the laundry room is signposted means it must be important. No. Oh, there's the camera. Well, we found the camera. Again, host before it's bolted. But... Oh, why did he see me? Oh, well. Not why did he see me, but damn it, he saw me. No, death to you, then spies. Spies come second in the death pecking. Okay, now I really want to... No, that's not... Okay, now we're low on health and we're low on armour. So we've got the uh, double whammy. Definitely not going to uh, quick save at the moment until I get some health back. Because I don't want to quick save myself into a... Uh, quick save myself into a corner, so to speak. There's some armor, that'll do. That's a sleeping grass grenade and a coin. So yeah, the coins you can use to distract people. <laughs> Obviously I've not been taking that uh, that route for some time now. But hey, oh come on! No, don't sound the alarm. If you don't sound the alarm, it will be easy for all of us. Mainly me, but I'm going to say all of us to make you think that it's a good idea. Okay. Now I'm not actually sure where we're going. I got. A oh wait. Okay. So there's a doctor in here. So this must be important. Hold on, there, pal. What? What do you think I'm going to do? No, please. I'm not going Leave to me alone. kill you. I'm unarmed. <laughs> Don't hurt me. 
Nah, nah, not even worth it. He's not trying to stop me, so... Let's grab these, uh... Files. Oh, hello. A picture. What a dashing young man. If you were in watching part two or one of the stream, you might recognise him. Only with more wheels, and there's a guard right on cue. <laughs> intruder! No, Thank not an intruder. You I'm supposed to be here. You just um, can't tell. I'm, I'm, I'm an inspector, and everything appears to be in order. In the order of you know your body's on the floor, but in in an order. That's still an order, right? Okay, so I've been in here. So again, part of the stream where I'm slightly lost. Uh, what I've got to do? So I've got to recover information, recover a top secret document from the safe. Uh, explosive in the motor pool. So let's have a look. So maybe I don't need to come in the basement. I mean, there was that map over there. So if I can get back to that map, that may be an idea. There's so many bodies. I am so good at. Oh, of course, there's a queue in here. So much stealth. I'm well good at stealth me. Okay. Now this looks promising. An angry kitty! Yes. In case you uh, are unaware, an angry kitty is this little fella who is an explosive device. I kind of... Yep, yeah, okay. Off you go, kitty. Okay, little bit close. That was... <laughs> Maybe closer than I expected. It may have had a slightly larger blast radius than I realised. Um, whoops. <laughs> Very much whoops. Let's try it again without the horrible explosive kitty death. I'm not going to do anything to you, mate. I do not have the patience. <laughs> so, alright, here we go. Let's go upstairs. If you just bear with me 20 seconds. And I'm a little bit of a silly person. Sorry about this, everyone. Right. Onward. Onward. Oh, don't say... Oh, because I... For a minute there, I thought I'd accidentally crashed the game. Oh, no. There we go. Right, okay. Onward. This is going to go badly wrong because of all the lighting everywhere. Die, you decadent pig! I'm not decadent, I'm just well dressed for the period. Ooh, plates. You well, this is of course, must be the mess hole. Oh, of course you can... I forgot about that, I think you can shoot the fire extinguishers and they help you out. So yeah, this by looks of it is the mess hole. Which, when I'm finished, is clearly going to become the very messy hole. What with all the bodies and dead people lying around. But if you can't make a mess in a mess hole, where else can you? So there's a security camera there, there's an alarm there, and there's a laundry chute. Oh, that's why it told me where the laundry room was downstairs. <coughs> Keep picking, picking, picking. Uh, 
And another body armor. Oh, scientist. Now I think scientists, although they, uh, think, I think they can still set off alarms, so that's why you have to actually be careful of them. But I think killing them is also frowned upon. I don't know if it gets you an instant game over. I can't remember if it gets you an instant game over. But we'll leave them alone to be safe. I was transferred from Novgorod to work on Project Omega. I've heard of that. What is it anyway? This looks important. I'm not sure. Nobody told me anything about it. I spent three days trying to find information. Did you check the M9 mainframe? It's out of order. One of the vacuum So that's why I need that vacuum tube. I saw one in the basement the other day. <laughs> Where? I don't remember exactly. Either on a shelf or in a cabinet. And that's clearly telling me where to go get a replacement vacuum tube. So again, you know, the this little deal is like uh, guards telling you incidental information that you can then use later on yourself in a in a handy way. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's that's something that. Leave me alone! No, I'm on R. Please. I know, I know that you don't really see these days. So I have no camera ammunition left. So, let's see if I can go get some more first. Unless this leads to a loading screen. Oh, no, this leads to another camera. Right, if I wait for that camera to stop seeing me. There we go. Look at that. I did it like a real stealth boy. Look, Ma, I can do stealth. For real. That was an actual stealthy maneuver from me. And yes, I'm scared as well. And the camera disabler is just what I needed. So in theory, if I switch back to my camera disabler, I can now disable the camera. go. That can save time later on. Another pack of bandages. And a light we will switch off. For the snake being sneaky. Okay now I'm gonna... Ah, let's, let's set a bear trap for the laugh. Shall we uh, release him? I know you're there. Come on then. Help me get this thing off. <laughs> uh -huh. uh. Good times. Good times. <laughs> Let's uh, grab him quickly. I can't remember how to grab him. Okay. Oh gee. There we go. Sorry, dude, but you know we had to. <laughs> I had to show the bear trap at least once, and that's how we catch people in bear traps. Yeah, full of ammo. I'm so full of ammo. Some more. So that's a, another optional objective there. By the way, if you want to read the uh, the documents that I don't read out. Um, you can go back on the script stream and pause it or whatever, but you can, uh, or you can watch it on YouTube when I upload it later on. But uh, I'm being brief with it just for the sake of, you know, I want to spend more time in the stream playing the game than I'm sure. And I'm sure you want to see more of me playing the game than me reading. A shower? Oh no! Let's get out of there quickly. Another shower. There is a lot of washrooms here. I blame cleanliness. I say it's next to godliness, you know. Whatever that means. Oh. Came here for the reading. Oh well, I'll. I'll uh, <laughs> I apologise if you came here for the reading. I'll. Uh, 
try and read a few more of these uh, of the files that I find. Oh, there's another camera. There's another camera. Always stopped in my talks by cameras, aren't I? And my incredibly shaky hands. I am like Mr. Shaky Hands Man from Banzai. If you remember that. That's how shaky my hands are. There's an alarm that we definitely don't want to set off if we can help it. This looks important. Can't go there yet. I assume I have to find something before I can go that way. But that looks like an incredibly important door for later on. As does this look important? Security code. Ex Epilent? Excellent. We still need to find that computer that we're talking about. Let's pick this lock. Let's find out what's in here, shall we? Oof. Hope you don't mind me stretching my shoulder out a little bit. If you're just joining us, this is No One Lives Forever 2. Playing through the whole, or as much of the thing as I possibly can until I get, I say until I get bored. 90 minute sessions a turn. It's a game from 2002 from Monolith, they who created Fear and Condemned. No, please. And it's a very good first person shooter with a bit of stealth. A lot of spying. Although when I'm playing, there's a lot of me shooting people. But it's got a good sense of humour. Ooh. Just mentioning, uh, mentioning the chat about somebody posting things for Kickstarter about what is essentially one of those uh, Amblite things. Yeah. It's a thing that's quite... I don't know... Kick, there's a lot of things with Kickstarter. You know, there's some good ones, some bad ones. But, but yeah, it does uh, thing when it's there's a lot of ideas that seem to be of coming up. Although you know, I will fully admit, if I see a No One Lives Forever Kickstarter, I will probably be on that like a shot. Although, frankly, well, I say frankly, if it wasn't the original writers writing it, it's not like I know specifically who wrote this within Monolith. So, but if, I would prefer Monolith kept it at first until we knew better. Unless we knew, knew better if anyone was better at, um, at doing it. Ooh, cyanide bullets, that'll be useful. Oh, and another file. Uh, as we know, the US has been developing a project to covertly launch a nuclear first strike against the Soviet Union by... Uh, sending them up the Dnieper River to Moscow, created special apparatus for the sharks that let them survive in fresh water. Uh, so apparently they're putting weapons on sharks. Of course, it's sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads. If you didn't think there was going to be more than a few Austin Powers references, I'm not sure what game you thought I was playing. All of them. That was that was a correct answer to that question. All of them. Okay. So I believe we've collected everything from here. So let's go downstairs. Freaking laser beams. And then we will move on to preparation H. I loved the uh, Austin Powers series myself. Oh, hold on there, pe no, please. <laughs> oh, the alarm. I forgot about that camera. Well, you know, at least now though the alarm's going off, they can't see me. Although, oh, there they are, they're saying, they're still coming, are they all dead? I may have killed so many people that there was no one to come and answer the alarm. I was clearly wrong. There's um, the guy from Goldeneye. You know him. I can't remember his name because I don't remember. Well, no, I remember Goldeneye, I just don't remember it that well. Characters' names and stuff. It's confusing. There's the thing again. Oh, that's the map. Oh, I should really like look back at the map when I keep getting lost, as I do, fairly frequently. But I'm never, uh, I'm never one to find my own, follow my own advice. 
so yeah, um, you may have heard me say at the start of the stream, but it appears that on the Twitch directory, I'm currently the only person streaming No One Forever 2, which yeah, saddens me slightly. Not that I don't think it's very popular, because it is, but I suppose it's a bit of a, of a symptom of the fact that uh, a symptom or a part of that is because, uh, in my opinion, the game is not actually available on your, uh, on comrades. Do not be fooled by this machine. While filing, I found evidence of an elaborate conspiracy to trick them out of their precious rubles. These vendor machines don't actually contain soda. They're hollow cases for large tray for collecting coins and a small speaker that plays mechanical noises. Trust no one. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, I was saying, the, the game is not available on your download services like good old games, Steam, or anything like that. And recently, as recently as last week, there was an investigation um, com uh, into, I think it was about a couple of weeks ago now, but there was an investigation into who owned the rights to the franchise. I wasn't sure if it was Monolith, whether it was Fox still had the rights, or, or someone in between. Um, and it appears, even after investigation, nobody actually knows still who owns the rights to this game. Uh, so until they find this app, this information out, it will not be released on uh, on your download services, which is just a crying shame because it's definitely one of those games that I think a lot of people loved and a lot of people who who are younger and you know they haven't they don't know the world of gaming before Half Life Two, for example, because this was two years before Half Life Two. I think it deserves being seen uh, and played at least once, or you know, ev even if just for a bit. I think it would be a, a definitely a game that would do very well on the download services. So it is a terrible crying shame. Uh, and, a, and, a, and a very disappointing turn of event, no. uh, say, <laughs> turn of events. Uh, a disappointing set of circumstances that it's the case that, that it is not there at the moment. And that it, it currently won't be. There is no signs of it. Of it uh, getting there. Okay, so this door is completely. Leave me alone. I'm unarmed. I thought that door was like the main door, given it was guarded by a by a camera. Although, that tells me the processing unit is this way, so that should have been the big clue. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a complete travesty that this game is not and for the foreseeable future will not appear on any download services. Hopefully, um, yeah, eventually someone will find those rights because there is, there's a big demand out there for it um, and I'd like to think that more well, people might do some uh, some streams on it if they find their old copies of the game because I will fully admit I might be the only one on Twitch uh, doing No Less Forever 2 at the moment but this is my first stream so I'm not going to claim to be the best at all <laughs> okay we're here in this big computer room so I bet we should uh, probably enter the passcode and find things out. We should replace the vacuum tube first. Okay, are we ready to do this? Because I think there's a cutscene kicks in in a minute. Secret wall. Ba 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 ba. Oh look, the roof. The roof. The roof is turning off. Oh god. We are in a lift. Take a look at my mother hubbing lift. I'm on a lift. I'm on a lift. Okay, right, let's, let's go in here and stop my singing. What's in the door? What's in the door? I can retrieve that data. Or oh, first, let's say. Uh, Scout the area. Oh, hello. You look important. Oh, dear. Well, that didn't go entirely according to plan. Sound the alarm. Go on then. Go sound the alarm. It's a spy. Come on. Oh god, he's got an alarm in there. He's got an alarm in there. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. That could have gone better. That probably couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> a 
Okay, alarm, alarm, alarm. I get it. Well, it will hurt when your brains are all over the ceiling. You would expect that to at least be a little bit painful. Let's search through these. You're immune to his corrosive capital sales tactics. So this is uh, <laughs> this is very uh, again this running theme of jokes or the the uh, these jokes that run through the levels. The guy that thinks that the uh, vendor machines are actually a conspiracy keeps popping up. An eraser. What the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie from ninety six. I apologise profusely for my pop culture references, which may go over your heads, I'm hoping they don't. But if they do, well, sorry everyone. I'm up. Hey, okay, so that's Project Amiga thing. Body armour, I needed that. Okay, let's go do something with that computer, shall we then? That's what we came here in the first place, I assume. The file identification number, because we found it. That's good. So yeah, there's... Oh, that's a, definitely the alarm. So there's a few ways we can do this. Oh, I see. It's doing things. I thought it was an alarm going off. So, there's a, yeah, there's a few ways you can do missions. You can have a punch numbers in randomly, or you can actually find the yeah, thing. I don't know if you can ever successfully do the computer if you just can't put them in randomly and you never did find the, uh, the, the sequence that you were supposed to get. Regarding this so-called Project Amiga, we need to clarify a few matters before we submit a letter of intent. They're looking for a solution that not only makes it feasible to annex Kiosk, but also to defend it once we, once we achieve our ultimate objective to build the world's first five-star communist hotel and casino in the northern end of the island. Can Project Amiga meet this need? So it appears that Project Amiga is... Now the land's going off, definitely. Is to build a casino. Which is, uh... Well, it's certainly a plan. <laughs> And a pink mitten, that's just my favourite. No, it's not. Okay, so the alarms are definitely uh, all on now. And that's why I saved before it, because I, I remember that, this bit at least, where the alarms go off after you get the data. I think that I've killed everybody who could possibly actually react to the alarm at this point. Whoops. <laughs> that was a bit foreboding. So there's a... Okay, I'm definitely not this way then. I want to say I just go back in the lift then at this point. I'm not certain. But I think the only way is back and then escaping because that's why we planted the explosives um, earlier on in the stream was to cover our escape. Ah, yes. Of course, now this way's opened. Are you on my side? I don't think you are, are you? You look like one of those goons. Hey, nope. Definitely not on our that. side. And now we have yeah. pink people, everybody. You do hear a spy, oh, but you also hear a big gun, so you probably shouldn't run in the way of that. Oh, oh, okay. So now the proper fighting started. I died pretty quickly. <laughs> However, I do think I saved recently, right? Yep, I did. I saved just before. I this guy. Well, they're still going off. Screw it. Anyone else want to come in and face away from me? Making my killing job a heck of a lot easier. Okay, that went better than expected. Especially better than the first time. A sleeping gas grenade, just what I wanted for Christmas. And I'm stuck on the scenery. Oh god, so many dead bodies. Okay, now I think that camera remains disabled from when I disabled it earlier. If not, this is going to get awkward. Uh, my objective is now to get back to the plane, although I can still do the additional objectives if I find them on the way. Let's have a... No, let's... Uh, oh, let's get the armour though. 
but then we will peg it. We will do what any good sk sk uh, sky, any good spy would do in this situation. And lag it! No much on glass ammo, no, I have some full on ammo, I'm full on uh, health. I have a very itchy nose, I apologise. Oh, there's a guy over there. Don't like the way oh. Nope. I don't like the way it looks, but you're dead, so... Oh, come on! How many bullets do you take, man? It's like you're made of adamantium. Or some shit like that. Okay. Onward! So I'm assuming I'm heading slowly back the way I came from at this point. Of course, my bad memory will probably forbid me from doing this carefully. But I'll go as much as I can direct that route. Yeah, it must be where that guy was standing. Because of course... Oh, right, okay, so he's bad off the doors. So that makes it a little bit harder than intended. I've got to find out where these doors are bad for Oh, the laundry chute, I remember now. So, it's in here somewhere. Okay, let's uh, let's go down the laundry chute, shall we? Dead all! I mean bold! Whee! That's the chapter complete! Lovely! Lovely! Still got 20 minutes, so we'll carry on. Night flight, so now that I have the information on Project Amiga, uh, Amiga I have to get it out of the Soviet Union, uh, and both Russians and Harm are hunting for me. So, let's Can light him up. Come this way. Stay alert. Right, so now I think stealth is pretty much out the window. For all intents and purposes. If not completely gone, then it's... Uh, doesn't matter quite as much. Not that it did before. I believe in the first game there was a lot more if you're seeing it's game over, whereas in this game there were a lot more forgiving forgiving in terms of, you know, if you get seen you can just fight your way out. As you can see that's happening right now. Because that's just how I roll. Come on. I see ya. Well, you will be bleeding if you get that many bullets inside you. Oh, and a new SMG. That is helpful. Let's keep them out. They receive extra portions of cabbage soups. Those not responsible will be given latrine duty. So make sure you capture me, or... Uh, you get in the... It's cleaning the toilets. That's basically the threat being given there. Anything in here that I want? I don't think so at this point. I think I should probably be focused... Oh, armor, definitely. On... Blowing this joint in both senses of the word. Let's get out of here! I like door cords, especially when they squeak like that. Okay, nothing here this time. So we're now going upstairs. Or maybe we're not because I can't go this way. Let's check that door handle. No, definitely can't go this way. So that's definitely not the way I'm supposed to be going. I do have a pretty good line in getting lost. I, I did think though when I was going that way, I was thinking there's a lot of people that way, yet yeah, I'm sure I'm supposed to be going this way. So I guess I was right the first time. But now I need to remember how I got in here. There was another gate, wasn't there? Well, that camera's on permanently now. 
Ah, this is it, I think. This looks familiar. Yeah, there we go. Let's get the bandages, because why not? Because I don't need them, that's why not, Ben. It's stupid. Okay, through the gate. I think we're... Oh yes, I've got enough to uh, upgrade something. So we should probably do the stamina. Now we're upgraded. Right. Now let's see if I can get out of here before the uh, end of tonight's stream. Probably be able to finish this uh, mission. I didn't ask for it, I was sitting around here listening to your conversation. I don't think you know how asking works, genuinely. They would request for the me up for them to be shot. I would be, hey, please shoot me. And then you would be all like, rat a tat tat. And then I'd be like, ugh, and all dead and stuff. So now we've just got to get back to the plane. So let's leg it! Like any good spy would. See, there's, everyone's running around now, so I think being stealthy is a. Oh, well, I can be slightly stealthy. Oh, there's a camera. So that's not going to go well unless I have a camera disabling ammo. Of course I don't. Back to the AK it is. Unless I... no, not running. Nope. Okay, so many stuff we can Now we go this way. There's the alarm. Don't think they've actually properly seen me yet, though. Can I get in through there? You see, I'd love to get in through there right now. But I don't think the game's gonna let me. So we're gonna have to go the long way. By long way, I kind of mean more dangerous way, but screw it. Right, well, he's not seeing me. Oh, he has. Uh oh. So I've got five seconds to do what? Don't know what I have five seconds to do. Oh god, yeah, that's gonna blow up. I forgot about that. Oh god, and now that's seen me. I'd honestly completely forgotten what happened in five seconds. I was like, what am I waiting? Oh, yeah, right, that's the thing I've blown up, isn't it? Let's get out of here. So we're to the outer yard. Now I think we just have to escape to the plane. Yep. Although there's a lot of people around. I don't have a snowmobile about. This could be difficult, though I think I get one soon. Right, thank you, Santa. So yes, I do have to get back to a snowmobile and farm one as soon as possible. Who's there? Nobody! It's your imagination. Oh, did I shoot him before I got the alarm? I did as well. That could not have gone any better. And that guy. Is that it? Can I risk going this way now? Yeah, I think I can. In through the window! Turning off the lights. There's apparently something here. Don't know what it is, but it's on the compass. So let's do it right. Well, that's a gate, but I can't get into it. But according to my map, there is something right around this corner. Oh, it's a snowmobile. Beautiful. So before we do that, let's ooh, plant a bomb, shall we? Sound the alarm. 
probably should have saved before that, but screw it. Oh god, get away, get away from exploding things! Oh god, and now my inability to drive a snowmobile is going to prove disastrous. No, my sweet potatoes are, um, they're not for you. You... No. I forgot I had not flown the, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot the, one I forgot I got the fire ammo. But oh dear. So that's a good thing that I didn't quick save just after that bit. So let's try that again without the whole dying mess on the park, right? Oh, I'm stuck. No, I'm not. I only land's gone off this time, so this is going to be... Well, I'd, I'd say harder. I don't know, I might find it easier by... Because I'm shooting already fast. I'm hoping that grenade went too far to actually catch me. I'm assuming we did at this point. Right. So let's get this ammo that we've been after. I know my 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 driving. Uh, if, I don't know if you saw the previous uh, part of the stream, but my driving of the snowmobile has been legendary in that I've managed to crash so many times, and it handles a lot like I would imagine. <laughs> well, not a snowmobile to handle, but a snowmobile to handle behind the hands of a drunken maniac. Not that I condone drinking and driving, kids. Not that I've ever done it, in fact, so I don't <laughs> I don't have my license, so that's probably an indication why. Or if you need an indication why, yeah, that's probably it. So let's set this bomb again. Can we open both sides? No. So I'll try and get on that one, and that's roughly aimed at where I need to be. Although I am very low on well, not health, but definitely on uh Though I'm not alone on health, um, well I'm kind of alone on health, but I'm not got no armor. So if I can get some equipment, that would be useful. And there's another bomb. So if I'm hoping there's some armor of some sort in here, because that would be very useful right about now. And there's another bomb. <laughs> Finding all the bombs now. Yet when I needed them, they were nowhere to be found. Oh, hello. Come on. An empty mouse trap. So, yeah, we've, I've, I'm almost certainly tapped out the uh, files for this level. Another quick save. Let's get on the snow view. Right. Yeah, it's because, like, to, to drive the snowmobile, I don't think you use the mouse at all. I think it's just the keyboard. So it's incredibly... No one has yet <laughs> captured the capitalist spy. Uh, if they're not re reprehended by moaning, executions will happen. Which is, uh, mandatory. Again, I'm just uh, exploring these things because I need health and armour if I can before I move on to the next uh, gate that needs blowing up. But I'll quick save between every one so we should get a I should get a chance to uh, if I do have to do it slowly. Set the bomb. And 
then peg it back to the snowmobile. It goes boom, boom, boom. Can you hear it go away, oh? Away, oh. Quick save. Let's build this joint. Whee! Oh god, there's a gate. Okay, gate needs opening. Well, it will hurt. It's a gun filled with bullets. Oh, there's a big ramp. There's me trying to, to look for the sensible option. And of course, there's a big action movie style ramp that I should be definitely using. My escape has to be at least 60% dramatic for drama purposes, right? So let's try it again. Whee! Oh dear, there we go. <laughs> and now we have to remember the first part was infiltration. This is exfiltration. So this is us getting the heck out of here. Um, apologies if the stream's a bit laggy. Um, I'm getting told that it's a bit laggy. I don't know what's happening. I don't see anything downloading. But of course I could just be being blind and hello. Well, you know, they got in my way. What can I say? So there's going to be a lot of quick saving here because I've got no app. Got no armor, uh, and I can't see my can't see finding any. Although I can also see myself dying just from thingy hits at the moment. Yeah, and I'm on fire, so that's not a great sign. I think the next hit's gonna kill me. Yep. So let's quick load. So I might run a little bit further forward, and then to kill people and then see if they've got any armor or anything. For example, this guy here. Set him on fire, of course. If he's gonna have armor, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna require me to do a, a longer search. You know? Come on, I'm warming you up. This is helpful. What was hitting me there? Oh, this guy. Come on, you're nice and warm now, what are you crying about? Look on the bright side, you're now nice and toasty. You would think that I'm doing something nice for them, they would appreciate it. Nope, I'm a... I need armour really. All I'm finding is uh, a lot. Okay, I can't carry any more ammo, which is fine, but I'm trying to change ammo now. I can't seem to do that. Hmm. For some reason I can only change ammo. I'm not sure what's happening there. But screw it. Those guys are dead. Let's uh, carry on. We've only got two minutes left of the stream, so we'll uh, finish this mission. You're a capitalist dog who is now squished. Boom. Oh god, oh god, tree, 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 tree. Round we go. Save there. Don't know if that was a good idea, but screw it. I'm not actually, I'm not certain where exactly which direction I'm heading. By the way, I'm just following the road and hopefully it'll take me where I'm supposed to be going. If it doesn't, we'll worry about it later. Well, this looks like the right direction, because, you know, people. I'm hoping there's not like a big fight to get to the plane. Because that's going to get awkward. Oh dear, that hurt. Still okay, it's still okay. So we're going to go around this corner and then jump off. Because we're going to try and kill the people on foot for a little bit. And they should be grateful that they are now nice and toasty. Be grateful, damn it!
Good, good, good. Gun, gun. No. Anyone got any bandages or health or armor would be really useful right about now. I'll take a stun grenade, although it's not the most useful thing I could have right now. Onward. Oh, God, yeah. One of these had phosphorus ammo because I'm now on fire. Let's reload. Down, one to go. I am on fire, I am on fire. So cheap. Oh, for yeah, pretty sick. Let's try that again. I'll uh, quick save a bit closer to the point. Shit. Ooh. Praying and praying. It's going to say, Who's still shooting at me? the best place to save. Let's do it. Ah, mate, that's what we wanted. That was Bailey's joint. Yeah, indeed. Three, two, one. What happens in three seconds? Oh, it's the bridge. Holy heck. Nope, that's not right. Is it actually possible for me to get across the bridge without... Dying? Yes, because of course. I use it for propulsion. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, physics, everybody. Physics! <laughs> Yeehaw. Well, I was trying to actually hear what you were saying, but okay. So I've got to rescue my pilot now. So I believe we've got time to up for the end of the the stream. Just. Oh, if I don't die here so many times. Where it gets frustrating. So I definitely need health and I definitely need uh, armor if I can find any. I apologize again for my neckness, guys. Trying to be a bit better at this game, but I just tried to frequent quick save, and that should hopefully see us through. No more ammo, but it's not ammo I'm after. At this particular juncture. Oh 
More armor, good. That's what I needed. I cannot shoot for... I cannot shoot straight for anything. Moment. Right, ammo. Because right now that's very useful, very useful first aid kit. Can I go back to the AK because I much prefer it? Yes, so now I can change my ammo. Right. Good. Okay, that's all his ammo. Get any more of that. Okay. I'm very conscious of time now, so. Especially because if it's too big. YouTube won't like it. So, onward. Oh, I'm noticing a bit of lag on the stream again. Stop it. Oh. That's frustrating. Right, onward. I'll play that lag stop. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Concussion grenade of some kind. Right, so that saved me pilot. Time to walk. What? What? Good, he's in there, so that's good. You better be. So now, now, yes, you've got to actually make him coffee, so you have to sober up your pilot before you're allowed to, to leave. So let's make him some of that damn coffee, shall we? I think while people are still shooting me. Quick, where's the coffee? There it is. Pot of coffee. Okay, I've... Oh, what did... Oh, right, I've got to make a mug. Pour him a coffee. Ooh, he's a, How are you? It's been a long time. How is Cincinnati? I'm a big time pilot now. I flew to Siberia on secret mission. Dangerous, but I get paid good money. You're getting checks. It makes me happy. Thanks, mission. So now we know the pilot's name is mission. Come on, pilot. I'll drink coffee. You secure Okay. Or you can drink it then. Go on. Be there soon. You better be. Yeah, we are running. We are running slightly late here. Come on. I don't think. Is there another snowmobile? Because that would be useful. Nope, no more snowmobile. Okay. I did use Starbucks. It was super effective. Ah, there's the plane, and there's a guy waiting by it. Who is not going to get to blow it up. He's going to be set on fire. He's going to be kept warm. And toasty. There you go, look. As I said before, I'm helping them out. It's very cold. To get to the amazing Olga in a flying feline Sunday matinee performance, I prefer the Saturday performance because that's when they generally put on the extra cats. Right, gotta defuse the bomb, gotta defuse the bomb. Which takes a while. Let's defuse this bomb and get out of here, shall we? Hooray! Sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? How do you think I feel? Honestly. So I think there's a cutscene after this, so we'll watch the cutscene, but then that'll be the, uh, and then we'll call it a night for, for this evening.
but <laughs> successful mission there, I think. Hope you uh, you did enjoy it. Oh, unless the game crashes on me, like it may be about to. Nope, we're good. Cutscene, ladies and gentlemen, cutscene. <laughs> the man handler. He handles the men. That makes 14, Mr. Volkov. Do you feel better yet? A little. Let's do one more. Bring in Laramie. Oh. Please, don't do this. Poor Laramie. Uh, I beg you. Feed him into the machine. And there's a Wilhelm. Poor Wilhelm. He's a delicious, delicious cube. I'm still upset. <laughs> Bring in Mackenzie. Mother, we've been over this a thousand times. I'm not coming home for Christmas. You want to kill me like you killed your father. Mummy, Daddy died of dysentery in Kenya. He died of a broken heart because you never amounted to anything. When I think of the sacrifices we made... Goodbye, Mother. Don't you hang up... Marvin, be a good chap and fetch me a little drinky poo, would you? Mr. Folkoff was disappointed to learn that Kate Archer is still alive. Then let him kill her. Don't be impertinent. She's not my enemy. She's my enemy and you're my retainer. Or have you forgotten who saved your life all those years ago? Don't tell me you're afraid of her. I fear no one. Then kill her, and bring back proof this time. Her head on a platter should suffice. Bom bom bom! We were hoping for something a little more conclusive. What do you know about this harm organization? We've had dealings with them before. They were barely competent at the time. Rumor has it they've restructured the organization since then, but nobody's quite sure what that means exactly. Means you didn't kick their butts hard enough! If nothing else, we've established that Project Omega is Harm's brainchild, even if we still don't know exactly what it is. That proposal we found was dated 1965. And? That means it was well underway during the Harm incident last year. We've already scoured the North American facility where they were keeping Dr. Schenker. There's no mention of Project Omega in the files we recovered. Sadly, the Alpine facility was completely demolished. There's one other place I can think to look. Where? Akron, Ohio. We've searched Goodman's house. Blitzney. Pardon? His name was Melvin Blitzney. Tom Goodman died in Amsterdam, remember? Regardless, our teams have been through the place thoroughly. I haven't. This is a waste of time. We'll see. Well, be careful. I'll bring you a souvenir. Please don't. What souvenir could it possibly be? We won't know, and I'm afraid we won't find out, at least on this occasion. So, yeah. Um, barring any more cutscenes, which I think there might be one, um, we'll call that an, uh, an evening. Oh, there's a cutscene. We'll let the cutscene play. So yeah, barring any, uh, I say barring any cutscenes. We've just, I just said that. <laughs> uh, apologies, everyone. Uh, let's do it. This house where Melvin used to live. So, um, oh. So yeah. So thanks for joining me this evening on uh, on my live stream for No Less Forever Two. Well, this is uh, this was part three. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for your patience with my inability to shoot straight. Or to, in fact, successfully do any stealth, so to speak. But I'm still counting it as a win. Um, if you enjoyed this, I'm probably looking at a Tuesday-Thursday schedule for this going forward. Um, although that may change. I may just completely uh, decide on a whim to do it uh, on a Wednesday as well. We'll see. But for now, thank you for joining me and thank you for your patience and sitting through the stream. Sorry it went on a bit longer than promised. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you want to know when I'm next doing it... Then click the share, but uh, the share button. Sorry, 
click the follow button uh, on the bottom left of, of the Twitch thing. Uh, and you can be emailed whenever I'm next doing a stream. Uh, hopefully this will be on YouTube very soon. And you can also subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, my YouTube address is youtube.com forward slash Theb. It's uh, the B with no space and no underscores because they were taken. So it's youtube.com forward slash T-H-E-B. And you can subscribe there for when I upload them after they've been recorded. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my details down there, as is my website. Again, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you soon.